Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm on, I'm not on Sugar Cube Creek today, but I'm on my antelope hunt. And I wish I could have got it on video, but I got an antelope just now. I am just getting my stuff ready to, uh, to get over there and and uh, and look at him. So I'll be, I'll start this up in just another minute. Well, everybody, here it is. I've got my antelope down. I just got a couple of pictures taken of him. And he's a dandy. I'm, I'm excited. He, uh, he's going to make the long hunter book easily. He's a nice buck. Uh, I got my first shot at him at right at 89 yards. And sideways to me so I took the shot and it hit his shoulder went through his shoulder and exited back here at the flank and that yanked the rug it knocked him right off his feet as soon as he came off his feet he laid on the ground for a little bit and got up so I reloaded and uh, by the time I got reloaded he got out here to 150 yards and <coughs> I ended up setting my sights for 150 and he was quartering hard and I hit him at the point of the shoulder and the bullet actually skimmed down his his uh, uh, hide on the outside of his shoulder tore up his cape a little bit but uh, his neck was turned back to me and so it actually went through his neck so he was neck shot on that super excited about this antelope. I was really worried about about getting out here and with all the competition of the other guys and everything else. And I was worried about getting a decent one. And this one was the biggest one I've seen in, in uh, several days. I've been sitting here for three days now and uh, this is this was by far the best one. So anyway I guess I gotta get busy and get this thing taken care of uh, and then get my get myself back home and get him in the cooler so anyway until until a little bit later on I'm going to sign off for right now man I've had a good year so far this was my important hunt right here uh, now I can kind of relax on my deer hunt uh, I'm just super excited about this antelope uh, just really, really, really excited about it. It's a nice, nice animal. So, anyway, I will see you in a little while. Well, good afternoon, everybody. This is still day one of my antelope hunt, but I'm actually into this, oh, I'm into this about four or five days now. I spent uh, four days scouting, and uh, after, after some preliminary measuring, this, this buck is, I mean, he doesn't look very tall, and he's not. He's just just a whisker over 13 inches but the mass around here you can see that my fingers don't touch he's got almost seven inches of mass right here consequently this buck this buck I rough scored him and he's he's gonna run he's gonna run close to 80 inches He's a fantastic animal, and uh, I can't even begin to say how happy I am to get that buck. Man, I just got lucky with this one. I did. Uh, the uh, this will probably wrap it up for this video portion of this. I may add an extra picture or two, but 
what I've got here is I've got a I've got a muzzleloader record book antelope right here. That buck's going to be well into the record book. I just can't be more happy with him. Got him with my hot rod and hawking. The first shot, he was probably somewhere right around 90 yards and I was, to be honest, I think buck fever had me a little bit. I was, I was pretty worked up when I saw this buck. <clears throat> and my first shot was just a pinch high. And it hit just in the point of the shoulder, right above the point of the shoulder on the left side, and exited out the, the flank, but it exited just under the backbone. It didn't it didn't hit anything. It busted his spine up something bad, uh, but didn't sever the spine. It had a lot of and I and I might get some pictures of that but I don't even know why he was on his feet. I don't know how he could get on his feet. But he got back on his feet <clears throat> and I reloaded. And at first I wasn't going to because I thought he was he was just dead. The, it just yanked the rug on him right there. And I reloaded, the buck got up and he started to walk. And that started to really, it worried me. So I, I ended up waiting for him to stop. <coughs> when he stopped, he was quartering hard away from me with his head looking back. And uh, I was aiming for the shoulder, right behind the shoulder. And what I didn't take into consideration was the wind. I was dealing with about a 10 mile an hour wind and it, I thought I was downwind but I must have been a little bit it must have been a little bit to the side because it blew my shot about four inches to the left at that distance and it hit right at the point of the shoulder again and when it hit the point of the shoulder that time it the bullet went this way and exited out the neck broke his neck and dropped him in. I've got my antelope in the river right now cooling it down because it was 92 degrees when I got out of there and I just had to get him, I had to get skin off of him and I had to get him cooled down. So anyway like I said before this is going to be it for the for the video on this section of this of this part of my hunt this year. I don't know if I'll get a whole lot of video from deer hunting. I'll try but uh, I've had a great year and all I can do is praise God because it was, it was divine intervention that helped me with this buck. That's all I can say. So until next time, I'll see you later.